Hello once again, welcome to another video. Today we'll be creating a to-do list application. So this is how our final application should be looking like. You should be able to add a task and you should be able to uh, complete it and also remove it. You can also add multiple of them. You can, so you can test it out like this and then you can also remove and then remove. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Firstly, we're going to add a new HTML file. We're going to name it index.html. And then the first thing we want to do is generate a boilerplate. We use the exclamation mark and then you press enter. It generates this and then we can replace the title. And then we're doing it to do list. And then we go inside the body. We will need uh, a div where we're going to put our input. We're gonna put our input here. Yes, the type is text, and then we're gonna put uh, a placeholder, which we're gonna tell the user to input a task. We're gonna give this an ID to be able to specify it uniquely. We're gonna say input field, and then we can close this. And then we're gonna have a button that we're gonna use to add our task. Then I'll just do button and then I will say add task. And then we need an ID for this to be able to specify it uniquely also. So we're gonna say add button. And then uh, we will need a div that's gonna contain the the task that will be added into our into our system so we're gonna say id here id equals to to do container so this con this div will be containing whatever task that will be added there and then uh, this is basically it for the html and then now we can add a new javascript file we call this main.js and then we have our file there before we proceed we need to link our html document with our javascript and we use the script and then we say source and we can specify our javascript here and then we close this thing and then now we can come here to the javascript First thing we want to do when we get to the JavaScript is to look what we are going to be dealing with. So we have three elements we're going to be dealing with. First is the input. So we're going to create a variable for the input. And then we use document query selector. You can uh, use get element by ID or if you gave it a class, you can use the class. But I'm going to just use this one and then we go and fetch the ID on this side. To make no errors we're just gonna copy and paste and then we're gonna duplicate this line and then now we go to the add button we name this add button this will specify our button then we come and take the uh, id for it copy and paste minimize mistakes and then we lastly we will want to get access to the container where we'll be adding our task so this to do container and then we'll copy it and then we'll replace this one and then we'll also say we can call this container so we have the three elements we'll be dealing with so we're gonna start with the add button because that's where everything is initiated when the user clicks the add something should happen so we're gonna add an event listener here we want when the user clicks so we're gonna say click here and then now we're gonna put our callback function here and then first thing when the user is clicking we'll want to create an element that we're gonna store on our container which will show the task and then I will just say let task equal to document dot create we create an element here in my case, I would like to create a paragraph. 
and so I'm putting the p tag here then we have this task and then we're gonna say task dot inner text we are setting the text of the paragraph now to whatever the the user wrote or whatever you will write on the input field hence we're gonna say input dot value so whatever that's in the input whatever that's in the input there we're gonna take it and put it as the text of that paragraph there and then if we have done that then now we can clear the input so that the user can be able to add another task if they want once the task is added we don't need to have the input so we just set it to an empty string here and then now i'm just gonna add i'm gonna add we, we go to the container right and then we add we add our task now so we're gonna use append child because this is a node element and then it's just append this to the container so that we can sh we can show it so this is the task which has the inner text of the input value so we created the element and then we set the text whatever the user wrote here and then we cleared it and then now we are appending this task that was created here to the container that's uh, underneath so this is basically it for adding the for adding the task and then let's just uh, go live and see how this thing will show okay this is how our ui looks like and then we have input task here and the button that we added so to test this thing out we're just gonna say maybe uh do laundry and then we add it here as you can see we have the task that's added here and then when you click nothing happens like we only did the the adding you say you can add as many as you want add as many as you want now we are left with being able to complete a task and we want to also remove a task so we're going to implement that using the task itself so after we've added that task we'll want to add a event listener to each task that is there so every time a task is added we're adding an event listener to it so that it listens to whatever event that's done to it so we want when you click on it we want to complete the task and we will complete the task by putting a line through it so we're just gonna say task dot style dot text decoration line and then we will say we will say line true so what this does is when you click on the task it will put a line through which will indicate that you are done with the task and then we will need to save this and then we go back here and then we will want to see this um, let me refresh it and then I can just add a new task now add then our task is here and then when I click you can see that you see the line through so now we can complete the task which will mark this as completed but you see we cannot remove the task so now we will need to remove the task and then I will just copy this just to duplicate it and then we have a method uh, or a, an event called uh, double click which is like this dbl click so when you double click we want to remove the task so we'll just we'll just say uh, i'm just gonna say container so in our container where it's stored right we say remove child the child that's clicked which is task and then we can save this so this is basically it this function is for this method is for uh, adding a line through which marks it as complete and this one is for removing it then when I save here and then we go back to our thing here and then we are expecting to add something and when we add something to be able to put a line through when you double click it's gone so that's basically it for for the functionality of it and what you can 
do now to make uh, your to-do list look a bit better of course you need to add some styling so to add the styling you'll do as usual you just come here and say link and then you create this and then we're just gonna point to style.css so now let's create that style.css which is gonna be the styling yes and then we have the styling file now and then when you for each uh, for each task you will want it to have the same class so we're just gonna say task dot class list dot add and then I just give it a class of to do item now we've added a, style, a class for the to do item now all you need is to use this to do item to be able to style it I'm just gonna style it now and then I'll just show you the final outcome of my own styling you can give it a bit of your taste and then you can just style it to make it look the way you want it to look let me just do mine then I'll show you the final project so the only thing I changed on my HTML is that I added I added an uh, H1 element for the heading to show task list and then I can sh show my task below that heading and then here is my styling not not that much and then I can now show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like and then you can add your task and then it will expand when you're adding your task and then there's my final there's my final to-do list application so guys can you please comment like and comment down below and tell me if you want me to do a part two where i can add more functionality to this application so you can be able to do such things as like edit and also validate the input uh, all of those things thank you guys see you on the next one